Hey everybody. Um, this is for people that are done with the rough draft and want to do noodle tools. Okay. Um, so please do not start noodle tools until you have had, had had a meeting with me about the rough draft. Okay. Um, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to noodle tools and, um, sign in with Google as you've done before, just like kind of how everything works. And you are going to want to click this new project button. Okay. So I have already created a new project. I named it, um, research project example. I'll show you again here. So when you click new project, it's going to ask you to type a title in. you're going to want to do research project or ancient Rome or whatever you did. And then you're going to choose MLA and starter and then hit submit. And it's going to create uh, a new project for you. So I am going to click on that new project and there's no sources here so far. Um, and what we're going to do is type or click new source. All right. Now, what you should have pulled up while you're doing this is your outline and your final copy or rough draft um, where all the sources that you've used are done and obviously you're ready to do, do noodle tools. <clears throat> if you pulled a resource from your um, rough, sorry, if you pulled a resource from your rough draft, I'm saying this totally wrong. It's Monday morning. I'm sorry. If you did not use a resource in your essay that is on the outline, there is no need to cite it. Okay. You didn't use it. You didn't write about it. All good. It's done. Um, if you use, used a source and you put it into parentheses on your final copy, you need to cite it. And so you're going to want to make sure that you go through very carefully and every source gets a citation and noodle tools. Now, there are a couple ways to do this. Um, with books, you're going to have to go pull the book um, that you used off of my cart. Um to find some of the information for the, but for this example, we're going to do a website. Okay. So down here, um, we have this source hand eye magazine. Okay. There've been poems about poems found that were written about 600 BCE suggesting that cotton had already been found thousands of years. So we have to cite hand eye magazine. If you did your job properly, you, um, connected a website to every single source that you used. So, you know, if you did it and you got to go back and find where the information came from. So in my example here, we have hand eye magazine, have the link, have the information that connects to it. I am looking at, it says, okay, well, cotton 600 BC, you know, poems suggest that cotton had been found around thousands of years prior. So I know the information's right. The source is right. It's already cited. So I'm going to go to the website. Okay. Now, hold on. Sorry. Sorry. We're back. All right. So I'm at hand eye magazine, uh, dot com. I clicked on the link and when I'm doing noodle tools, uh, the first thing it's going to say is where is it? Is it a database website print or in hand? Um, and this is obviously a website and it's obviously a web page. Okay. Um, and you should remember this from doing your uh, persuasive essay, but the first thing you got to do is URL. So I'm going to copy and paste that. I'm going to plunk it right into noodle tools. Okay. Date of publication. I'm looking at March 22nd, 2021. Really, really good there. Um, I don't think that I have anything else. So I'm going to put March 22nd, 2021 right into noodle tools. So March, uh, 22nd, 2021. And then the most recent date of access, because you went back to the website today or whenever you're working on the noodle tools thing, you're just going to click today. It's going to fill it up. Now, um, the next thing is contributors. That is most likely going to be an author. Okay. So you're going to click author there, go back over here. Um, and I have this person named Wickham Boyle. Okay. Uh, and we're going to put that in. Uh, W H I C K M foil. Uh, if there's a middle name, put the middle name. If there's a suffix, put a suffix. If there is not an author, don't go crazy looking for it. If it's not there, it's not there. Don't worry about it. Um, if there are multiple authors, you're going to want to add a second author in and that you do that by adding contributor. 
Okay. So there is only one um, author listed here. So I am done. Next thing is web page document, web page or document article title. This is called India in the History of Cotton. I'm just going to simply copy and paste that right there. I'm going to plunk it right in. Um, if it's untitled, you're going to click untitled. The website, name of the website, uh, going back over here is Hand Eye Magazine. The name of the website is going to be anything before the dot com. Okay, so Hand Eye Magazine. And it will catch you if you don't capitalize things. Publisher of the website is most likely going to be the same as the name of the website. The publisher is whatever company um, puts the information out there. So Handi Magazine is going to match again. Okay, so it, it might say published by so-and-so. Um, or it might not. So again, just the name and I magazine. Okay. Uh, and once you're done with that, you're going to hit save. You don't have to do anything with this annotation bit at the bottom. You're going to hit save and you're done. Okay. Um, the important thing to note here when you are doing your noodle tool citations is that you need to make sure that every single thing in parentheses has a citation. That's the whole point of doing this, this process here. Um, so just going one by one through your essay and making sure that you stop at a citation and you connect it to a noodle tools. All right. Once you have all of those, you're done. If you pulled something in your notes and you didn't happen to use it in your essay, you don't have to cite it. Just leave it alone. Um, if you are doing a book, um, you're going to need to make sure that you have the right book and basically do the same process um, as a website, but by clicking new source. And instead of doing website, you do print or in hand, and then it's going to ask you for a book, magazine. Most of the time it's book. All right. Um, and it pretty much is the same process. First name, middle name, last name. That's the author. Uh, the title of the book, the publisher, the year it was published, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Actually, doing a book is easier than um, doing a website in a lot of ways. So this is simple directions for Noodle Tools. You really, um, hopefully you remember it from back in uh, the winter when we were doing the persuasive essay. So uh, if you have any questions, come grab me in class. But this is just a quick overview of um, Noodle Tools. Thanks.